Yes. So what do you think you're doing for the environment? Uh, planting tree. <laughs> the last thousand trees out of 30,000 trees for this um, Pointish Inn project. These trees we hope will last a really, really long time and they're going to restore an historic Cypress Tupelo Swamp. Behind you guys, what you can't see, is a levee that's here to protect people from storms. But then on this side is the actual green infrastructure that is actually going to, if something does come over, also provide protection for the people that live behind it. Seven or eight years ago, it would have been impossible to plant cypress trees right behind it. Because it, it would have been too, the environment was too salty. But now that we have this levee, now that we are controlling the salt water coming in from the south, we're able to, uh, to actually do these type of projects. So, very, very happy to see this. You know, it's just a fight that we'll keep on fighting. And, uh, uh, and, and I can actually say, you know, I've been doing this for 15 years and, and we're, we're, we're winning the battle. And, you know, thanks to companies like Res and BHP and America's Wetlands, we'll keep moving forward. The, just the benevolence and outreach of a BHP in our community just means a lot. And to do something as tangible and as long-lived as a tree planting, because these trees will be here for our generation and the next and the next and the next. You know, Tailbone stands for the good earth, and a lot of the good earth is underwater, so we're trying to get it back. But projects like this that we do is sustainable and the local communities feel like there's a presence so that we're not always doing these really large-scale projects but we can do small things that make a big difference.